again, but I wanted to put a video out there just for those who need a little extra guidance. These are the materials I start with, um, including the battery, a fresh new battery every single time you start your pump so that it doesn't run out, and even then, it'll probably run out, but uh, get better batteries. And so um, I kind of let that run, and then I've got my needles, I've got my medicines, vitamins, tubing, um, my alcohol swipes, and my uh, needle dispenser. So, um, I start off by sanitizing my hands. Um, I have a special kind that doesn't have alcohol because doing this as many times as you do when you have it, uh, it just really dries out your hands. So I wear masks sometimes just so that everything uh, stays sanitary and you don't have to worry about it. And you're going to need quite a few of these little alcohol pads because you're going to want to swipe everything that comes in contact with the needle or goes into the uh, into the TPN at any at any time. So that's kind of how I do that. And I like to draw up first the um, smallest amount. Um, this is my folic acid because. Uh, the larger amount, which are the vitamins, which is 10 milliliters, is going to, um, it's going to push out the folic acid from being stuck inside the neck of the TPN bag. Uh, I ran out of needles, so I am using extra needles from my bag. And before we start, we need to swipe our port here. Make sure it goes in straight so that it doesn't poke through the sides of the tube, otherwise that will hurt and also compromise the bag. I also like to flush it a little bit to get all the vitamins out of the neck. Next, my vitamins. More swabbing. like to turn it tight so that the needle doesn't come off. You draw up however many milliliters of vitamins you will be injecting in air so that when you push the air into the vial it displaces the air with fluid inside your syringe. Sometimes you have to push a little bit of the air. Make sure it goes slow. If you make it go fast, sometimes you'll get more air in there than you really want. That's five. Not enough. I can see it in the syringe. There we go. Do the same thing again. Take in five more, putting that at ten. You 
to make sure to draw that the syringe as low as you can so that you don't get air as you're drawing it out. This one's clear. All done with that one. And then back. Into the neck. Again, I like to take out whatever's in the neck until what I draw back is white, which would be about now. And then usually you take a bag and kind of shake it around. Make sure it's mixed up in there so you get an equal amount of vitamins. Otherwise, it's just not going to be of use of you and you're just going to get rid of it. And then... I mean, you can clean your station as you go. I usually just wrap everything up with a blue mat, which is pretty much the only reason why I use it. Taking out my tubing, I use a CAD prism pump. I'm not entirely happy with the CAD prism pump because it is so loud and clunky and annoying. You want to move the clamp out. Now this isn't exactly the way they teach you. Uh, I just picked up on it um, when I was in the hospital that nurses do it this way. But to time it, I hang it up high. Make sure everything's straight and that my dog is not licking up my TPN. She knows I have spills sometimes and she's always there to lick it up. So off comes the cap, off comes this cap. And you're going to want to push it all the way in until you hit a little groove. You'll know you're in because the white TPN will start coming through the tube. And as you can see, it goes really fast, a lot faster than priming it with a pump. So this is just the way I've, I've learned to do it. If you get stuck with doing it with a pump, it's just five minutes of your time. And there's a little TPN for Ellie. Um, if you have a CAD prism pump, you can... I was able to get a uh, mount for it. For my uh, for my pole, so I just kind of stick it on there. If you take this blue part off before you prime, you will not be able to prime. It's un it's unfortunate. It only takes once for you to realize what you've done. But once you stick it in, you take the key, which I have on my backpack. Lock it into place going to ask you if you want to reset. If you didn't go through your entire thing, I say yes and not reset. And it's ready to go. Um, you just hit note all those things and follow instructions and that is how you set up your TPM. Thanks for watching. And then I use my alcohol stuff. Why is it? What did you do to my alcohol stuff? What did you do? <laughs> Thank you. Let's start this whole video over again. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm no, the key. It's in my backpack. Just stop it.